I guess we should talk about because we talked about it, you know, a little bit yesterday. But the strike on uh, um, Awalaki, um, or um, sorry, Zawahiri, Zawahiri. Um, I'm getting all my uh, leftover guys mixed up with the ones that would have been taken out. Um, it's I'm curious to see today, and I we have a few things out that Fox News kind of avoided the talk. Some of it, they you know, and some of the earlier evening shows, they seem to talk about it. The nighttime shows, I don't know how much they've paid attention to it because I don't watch them for my mental health. I watch pieces of what they put up as exemplary of their talk. And um, so we'll be cu- what we'll be discussing in a few of these today, kind of what swamped the actual uh, news about uh, um, Zahiri was the the trip to Taiwan that, that um, Nancy Pelosi arrived in Taiwan today. The Chinese government is uh, is threatening. Um, let's see, uh, direct action, military action, blah, blah, blah. Uh, the, they have, they have labeled her trip there as extremely dangerous and provocative because anytime you spe- you send a, uh, uh, the speaker of the house, uh, who is over 80 years old, you got to scramble the fighter jets. They had, okay, hold on. Uh, can I show you this? Hold on. Ch- uh, China, let's see. Tanks. This is the, I think someone, and I don't get this. Someone thought, I haven't seen anything this dumb since some of the bragging that we have seen on uh, the Russian channels. Um, Let me, hold on one second. Let me clear this, wait for this ad to clear. Um, This, okay, here it is. I'll just go right to this. I, I this is amazing. So, Taiwan, um, obviously, um, hundreds of miles away. Hold on, let's see. Let's see the actual uh, distance from Taiwan to the mainland. But we'll check it out in a second. Um, the uh, on WeChat, these there, there was this footage that when Nancy Pelosi, when her plane was reportedly headed to Taipei. The, the Chinese drove tanks on the beach and there's fucking people there. There are people sunbathing and going to... What the bloody... What? What? <laughs> what are you, this is the, one of the single dumbest things. I, I mean, this is like when they go on Channel One in Russia and brag that they're going all the way to Berlin. First of all, like they could, like the tank fire could reach Taiwan or that somehow because Nancy Pelosi has landed there to have dinner with them and talk about trade and shit like that, that somehow she's going to like run out to the beach like a Granny McCarthy um, and and start, I, I, I don't know. Order, order a strike herself. She's going to join the Marines on the beach to so Taiwan's going to attack China. And, and I have to say, this looks fucking weak. This overreaction about Nancy Pelosi going, I mean, like throwing a fit diplomatically and, and even like, um, you know, moving boats in the area because the United States put boats in that area to protect her in case the planes tra- tried to fuck with her as she landed. Um, that Some of that makes sense. But the idea that this is a dangerous provocation, that the real way to handle, and this is because they can only do wolf warrior uh, um, diplomacy right now. They, uh, it's all tough talk, but it's meaningless as shit. And the weird part is, is uh, the dumbest part of this, besides the fact that tanks aren't going to fire. Yeah, it's like 100 miles. Yeah, um, tanks are not going to be able to reach. None of these tanks are going to be able to fire on Taiwan and strike it. But what, I hope they woke up everybody that was sunbathing before these motherfuckers showed up. It's uh, it's bizarre. There's been news of like Russian subs off the East Coast. I'm sure many of uh, many people have heard of those like moments where they've, they you know um, they've been caught getting a little too close or they may have come in blah blah blah. The United States maneuvered boats, but they but they didn't put fucking tanks on Long Island 
you know, like they didn't they didn't set up anti tank facilities in uh or uh, like like batteries in Coney Island for Christ's sake. Yeah, the eighty four year old secret strike force. I I gotta say, like this is just this it's embarrassing. This is uh, you know as and as shows of force go, it's pretty terrible. Like I you know I don't know that anybody is going to be impressed by this stuff. Um. And this is, uh, by the way, and then they, this it goes in line with them also um, taking tanks to the uh, eastern part of the country. Um, this is in Xiamen. Um, they've got tanks on, let me see. Now, for the record, if you're Russia, what, it, what this tells you is that they're not going to help. These tanks are not coming to, to the west or to the northwest. They're going the opposite direction from Ukraine, which I suppose is a good thing. I mean, as strategies go, if the Chinese think that they're going to need stuff, the chances of them giving any of it to Russia, I guess, get slimmer. Yeah, tanks from the early 1900s. Yeah, I mean, a lot of them are show tanks. Um, yeah, and then there's the ones that are the troop carriers that are driving down the street in Fujian. And again, like, and then everybody was tracking her flight. You could see, like, the, apparently it's the most uh, tracked flight in the country. Meanwhile, uh, here's how Taiwan reacted. They put up a big billboard saying, welcome to Taiwan, Speaker Pelosi. And they put it on the side of Taipei 101. A, uh, that's Taipei 101. That's the giant tower that's uh, designed like bamboo. I've, um, um, so it can sway in the wind. Um, it's got bumpers in the bottom. They call them uh, bumper babies. They, they, uh, they sell little toys, plush toys called bumper babies in it um, because it has to, and they're co color coded in case there's a problem with any of the, um, like, because if you have a big tall building, it, the hardest part is keeping it from falling over. Um, Hal, how do you stay sane? It's a, you know, it's not as hard as you think. Um, it's a stay mildly crazy, I think is really how you do it. But um Anyways, really lovely of Taiwan. And I will say, I am very envious of Nancy Pelosi right now because the tea she is going to drink is the finest in the world. I'm sorry, India and England. I'm sorry. But Formosa oolong, the Taiwanese oolong that grows there is frankly the best tea that exists. And this is that little plane that transited this area. Big fucking deal. Uh, we, we looked at some of this stuff earlier. And then there's, yeah, so this is her plane. It went around up the, around the Philippines so that China couldn't intercept it. Um, also, look at all the other, like, this is an interesting thing. Um, look at the planes going here to down here to the Philippines and around, but not going into China and out again. And look how much Chinese flight traffic is just in, inside the country. Now that domestically... That's going to be how it is in most countries. You know, there's fewer foreign flights than there are domestic flights. But the number of flights transiting past or around China without stopping has increased drastically because of the zero COVID and all kinds of other shit. Um, also, yeah, this is Taipei 101. It's a beautiful building. I recommend if you ever, if you want to know what Chinese culture is truly like and enjoy the depths of Chinese culture and experience the food and the traditions and all that kind of stuff, go to Taiwan. Um, you can skip the mainland probably for the next 10 years, unfortunately, until Xi Jinping is out of power. Um, um, yeah, this is there's her flight landing. Whoop, there she comes. Um, Taiwan is lovely. And by the way, see this right here? Okay, this is the the super nice hotel in, in, in Taipei. Um, that you can I have a I have a fridge magnet. I got to stay there once when I was there um and uh it it's it's very nice. And they have a a British tea just like the Hong Kong hotels have. And meanwhile, back in China, like a bunch of fucking hicks. I don't get it. So, um, yeah, I go, China's putting serious military force on the streets of Xiamen, just across the strait from Taiwan. Yeah, for no fucking reason. 
Well, they're not using them anywhere else, and they and there's no guarantee that they function. I mean, they're basically it's like uh, bookends, like mil military bookends. Can you? And again, this is really stupid for your streets. Normal, just asphalt roads, city streets cannot handle tanks rolling over them regularly. It's not a good idea. Not that that I mean. They, they. I mean, the, I gotta say, the recent construction in China is fairly shitty, anyways. So I don't know that it, it it's any worse than the streets. But I mean, yeah, this is uh, China's like North Korea now. It's not quite there, but they're acting like it. Um, and that's, I mean, that's just weird. It's just, it's an ego thing. This is all ego. This is this is what the Xi Jinping version of Trumpism works. What is um, I'm calling it. Pelosi will not visit Taiwan. Why? Well, apart from other obvious reasons, she'll be flying a U.S. military aircraft. It's part 19. The U.S. cannot fly a military aircraft into Chinese airspace. Yes, includes Taiwan without permission. It would be a suicide mission. <laughs> not, not quite, dummy. Um, my guess is Pelosi knows her plane will be met by the PLA on approach to China airspace, and she knows she can uh, she can then cancel and divert to South Korea and claim the PLA tried to shoot her down, saving face back in the U.S., which is what this is all about anyways. Uh, no, sorry, dummy. I mean, I, I don't doubt we'll see, um, <laughs> um, reports on China, reports for China. Yeah. Uh-huh. So, um, anyways, uh, it's, I think it's great. She went, I'm very excited about it. Um, however, Fox is having a really hard time dealing with it. I mean, it's an emotional time for them anyways, with the, uh, Zahiri getting killed and then, you know, like Biden announcing that uh, Osama bin Laden's number two um, it has gone down finally after all this time. And that like just getting out of Afghanistan, these egomaniacal psychopaths just decide, oh, well, I guess the coast is clear. No, it's not, dummy. You might want to hide until the, the, the Taliban actually managed to concoct an actual government. Of course, that would be forever. But um, primarily, it, you know, how how in the world, and I'm, I'm going to cover a couple of videos about this today, but how in the world are these people uh, going to cover this without covering it? I mean, they're obviously going to bring up Tom Cotton after this. So I guess he's uh, he can take care of any cleanup. Uh, why, and this is, um, by the way, why is China seemingly Ill infiltrating U.S. telecommunication systems? Okay, this is from August 2nd. What the fuck? First of all, we outlawed Huawei in this country for that very reason. And then a lot of these telecom, like the, the machinery, the actual technology and stuff that was assembled in China, the Chinese government put a lot of like chips and, and, um, and transmission uh, bridges in there that allow them to intercept a bunch of stuff. And now we're having to broom it all out. This is, this is a, a series, like a, a reflection of naivete and the idea that, you know, um, cost is the most important thing in terms of telecommunications equipment. And that, that went on for a decade. And they just, they basically just found a wiggle, uh, like a wiggle way in. And they, and that's how. All right. Breaking report. All right. The breaking report. Oh, it's a breaking report, is it? Here with a big breaking report on all of this. She's been following the story from the get go. Mm, the big re breaking report. And she's in Huntsville? Our own Sarah Carter, investigative no. reporter. Sarah, we have an update from last week. <laughs> we have to do real news. Shit. How can I not? Just whatever you do, don't cut to footage of Pelosi landing over there or remind me that Zhao Hiri is dead. Oh, yeah, absolutely, Sean. I'm here in Montana. Absolutely. I actually spent the day in Great Falls and I drove all the way to Lewistown here in Fantastic. Montana. Right. Did everybody notice your accent? Near Maelstrom Air Force Base. And just to give you mm. the gravity of the situation, Great. how dangerous this is, Super and why great. the U.S. Super, Commerce yeah. Department is possibly investigating along with the FBI. Maelstrom. 
wait a minute, uh, excuse me, we don't trust the FBI anymore because they have been mistreating Rudy Giuliani. They are. They need to be, according to Tom Cotton, who will be up in just a few minutes, the FBI needs to be dismantled and shut down. Um, so, and, and I, I don't even get me started on military intelligence and uh, talking about foreign influence. <laughs> Stream Air Force Base maintains 150 uh, Minutemen 3 intercontinental, uh, intercontinental ballistic missile silos out here. We were able to pass by some of those silos. You can see them from the road. The problem is, Sean, is that the telecommunication systems that are out in this area are literally honing in on Huawei technologies, meaning Huawei technologies has access to those telecommunication devices. And the fear is, is that the Chinese government does too. I also spoke. Yeah, I, I just for the record, n none of our uh, ICBMs are launched via text. <laughs> Let me just, can I just clarify that before the story continues? It's never like, you know, uh, uh, let the missiles fly, LOL. Like it doesn't. Spoke with Congressman Matt Rosendale earlier today, and this is what he had to say. We're here in Montana. In front of a decommissioned aircraft, giving my a Fox reporter the illusion that she's on some sort of facility. It's actually attached to, I believe, a concrete base. We know now that the Commerce Department, as well as the FBI, we believe there's ongoing investigations right now. Uh-huh. That, uh, by the way, both of those, uh, the Commerce Department and the FBI, both Republicans want to get rid of. Into Huawei Technologies near Maelstrom Air Force Base, and it is right near our nuclear silos. What and um, now, is, I, I know I'm going to ask this, uh, how am I going to phrase this? Um, if you, is the button, where, like on my phone, where would the button be? The button, the button. We always hear about the button. What is your biggest concern right now? I'm very concerned, again, it goes back to the monitoring. Uh, if they can pick up little pieces of data. About yes, if it, basically what this asshole is saying is that uh, people on a military base are too stupid to go, fuck, dude, we just got ordered to launch a nuclear strike. Fuck, I'm just dicking with you. And then, you know. Right. When we have movements, where those movements are going, when it's taking place, then that gives them a, a very big advantage over our own military. Because we have an arsenal of ICBMs here that we need to protect, especially right now when we see all the chaos that's taking place around the world. And yeah, normally we don't have to protect them. Only when things get chaotic do we go, oh, fuck, who's watching the ICBMs? What do we do now? And, and, and it's very difficult. This is where I was saying earlier that it's always easier to prohibit these things from taking place than to unwind them. It's the old, you can't get the toothpaste back in the tube once it's, once it's out. Yeah, uh, technologically speaking. Now, granted, also, none of these uh, technologies, these transmitters or relays, are made of toothpaste. <laughs> also, I just feel like I need to clear up some of the technicalities. <laughs> <laughs> and, and that is very difficult. You can eventually end up cleaning these things up uh, through our cybersecurity systems and, and that type of work, but it's a lot more expensive and it's much more difficult because you never know what you missed until it, it rears its ugly head and we, we have a problem that, that shows up. So I think that we need to, again, start from the beginning. We know where we are right now. Right. Let's go ahead and make that a top priority. Remove they are. Apparently, they're, these are ongoing investigations. You didn't have to ask for them. Fox didn't have to ask for them. The Commerce Department, the FBI have been on this for a long time. How, how do you, how can, and this is it. And this is a big part of the fucking Republican systemology. Like, how do you talk about the fact that government is actually working the way it's supposed to once a problem is recognized and they start working on it and still act like, oh, no, no. This is just like they're figuring out the, the issue and solving it. So I'll just jump in and yell really loud. So they'll think it was because of me. Move that equipment from the cell towers over the next 30 days. Uh, if the Chinese Communist Party has a problem with that, uh, there's a Latin term that we use around here quite often. It's pound sand. And we just tell them that. And, and we make sure. Why, why would the Chinese Communist Party give a rat fuck about swapping out relays and... That's a contract with the state. The state can buy or sell. They can just junk the shit.
They can they can go, well, we're ending a contract to repair these pieces of gear and we're replacing them with other shit. What what are you talking? Why the Chinese Communist Party is has no say in this. Even through and it's not a Latin term. Yeah, it's a, like I a, maybe it means English and he's that Jesus Christ. So that our country is secure. Yeah, uh-huh. You heard him right. Sean, Congressman Rosendale, along with Oklahoma Governor. Oklahoma, Oklahoma, where the wind comes. That's what happens when you go to the Tom Brokaw, Tom Brokaw School of Singing. Oh, many splendored thing. Why? <laughs> Endless love. Governor Stitt and others in lawmakers from Washington, D.C. are saying that this is. Yeah, it's, it's not your ear that's making you say Washington, D.C. This is their ability to push them out right now to get Huawei and the Chinese government to uh, to move out of our telecommunication systems. And the only reason they've been able to do that, Sean, is because under the Trump administration, they've been able to expand the ability of the Commerce Department to investigate as well as the FBI and as well as the FCC. What? Under hey, wait a minute. They didn't expand investigations during the uh, under the Commerce Department. <laughs> what? What is it, Chip? Chip, oh. He, I, uh, I took Chip outside today on a leash. I will post video at some point if I can make him do it again. Um, and he was, it, it was very warm out, so he was okay for a little bit. And then Summer went in the house and locked the back door behind me, so I was locked outside with Chip. So I had to walk around the house, and he was like, where are you taking me? Ow! He's doing the big, like, freaked out cat meow. Right. <laughs> Even Chip was like, bullshit, lady. Because under the Trump administration, they've been ba Oh, God. Sean? All right, Sarah Carter, great report. Thank yeah, great report.